Hey guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. I'm John. I brought my brother Mike from LA. Uh, we're going to be drinking a beer and doing some talking. So like I said, we're just going to be having a beer. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit about the beer, but we're also just going to be doing some kind of, I don't know, bar talk. A little kind different, of. actually. A little bit see, different. Like... Kind of more of like what you would experience at a bar with someone of just talking. We're actually going to actually talk. Yes. But what are we drinking? We're going to be drinking Firestone Walker's 2018 Velvet Merkin. Velvet Merkin comes in at a 7.8% ABV, a 21 IBU. It gets an average rating on Untapped of 4.09. A decadent oatmeal stout aged for a year in seasonal spirit barrels result in an impossibly smooth and dangerously drinkable beer with notes of chocolate, espresso, vanilla, and bourbon. All right, so let's uh, try this beer really quick, and All right, let's just drink. I mean, really, right? Ooh, it's not bad. It's mm. not—it's not super thick. It's supposed to be bourbon barrel aged. It's a little boozy. It's a little thin. It's a I little. Think, I think it's, yeah, a, it's little a little thin. thin. It is. It is definitely a little thin. It's not um, this high percentage. It's only seven eight, so it really is kind of like a regular beer almost. Yeah, basically. Um, um, it's so it's an oatmeal stout. I, I taste a little bit of a kind of an OD dryness, yeah. which is what oatmeal stouts usually have. Um, there's a sweetness from some bourbon, but it's just like I'm trying to like uh, remind myself actually like it, would I actually want to drink this like on on the on the uh, porch or something on like the porch? Yeah, or on like stay, or something relaxing or wherever. Yeah. Where where does this fit? Where does this fit? Um, I don't, I don't know the I don't, fire. I don't, I don't like, do, know. Like, do, I just don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I, I really just don't know where this beer where falls it into. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. This is basically like, you know, like after you, you get off of work and like, you know, the kids are actually asleep and you're watching TV and like you have a beer. That's what it is. A beer. Maybe. A beer. A beer. Yeah, I wouldn't even probably take this and pour it into a glass. I'd probably still drink it out of the bottle. Kind of a probably. thing. Probably. So for me, if it's a big beer and I want to relax, like you're saying, I'm going to take the time, pour it into a nice glass, yeah. take that time. This is, I'm going to fucking take it out of the bottle. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this is what I need. That's the kind of bourbon barrel aged rare beer this tastes like. Yeah, because like we've, we've talked about like different beers, about different <clears throat> types of places where like, you know, this is a summer beer. This is actually a season beer. This like, is a this, fireplace beer. This, this is a fireplace a, beer. Yeah. Like this is definitely. I mean, I don't know. What, I just don't know I, where I to don't put know it. What to do with I don't, don't know. know I, I don't want to put this. I, I no. really don't know. I really don't. This it's, is like a, a Marvel beer. Like when you actually watch Captain Marvel, or or, <laughs> <laughs> or like Captain America. I was I gonna know. say this is more like a DC beer. <laughs> oh, well, let's not go there. <laughs> This is like you were saying, more of a nightcap, and it could be at any season. But I don't think it's fancy enough to be the only beer you ever have. Of this is what I'm craving. This is more of like the appetizer before I have the craving beer. This almost tastes like stew beer. Like I want to put braised beef with this, and and, and there's not a whole lot to enjoy what this beer is. That's what I get. Dude, I don't know. I I, I, I might... Uh, dude, I'm kind of disagreeing with you on that. That's, that's fine. This I, is actually... I mean... It's a good beer. It's a good beer. It, I'm not disputing that it's, it's not a, a good beer. I mean, like, it's not a great beer, but it's a good beer. It's it's like... Like, for me, like, what we were talking about beforehand, I was like, dude, like, I don't drink beer. Yeah. I like stouts. Yeah. You know, like, this... I kind of... Dude, I, I, I like kinda, it. I kind of like it. That, you know, it it like, is a good stout. But... For what they were stating, bourbon barrel age, uh, it's an aged oatmeal stout, and, and this only comes out once a year. They specialty make it, and then they charge you $10 for 12 ounces. That's a pretty high price. It is a high price, 12. yes. For all of that, this does not meet those standards. If you were to just hand me this glass, and I didn't know what it was, I'd be like, oh, that's a really good beer. Okay. You know, like, but now because of the classifications of 
the high price, the rarity that it supposedly has, the barrel aging that it supposedly has, they're like, oh, it's still good, but it doesn't live up to its hype. So it's, so what it's, is, so it's what like is, Fox X-Men. What is your standard? Uh, my standard, well, it's, it's, it's very funny. It's a lot of standards I do have is from like a Firestone Walker. They have other variations of these types of beers that are really good. I have um, Bottle Logic, which Dave and I just had. Very great stout. There are some local stouts I have that are a lot better than this, in all honesty. Um, and probably same price point. So, just from the vast amounts of beers that I've had, um, this falls short of uh, being really the rarity that it is. it is still a good beer, yeah. but because of that price point, it doesn't hit the mark. So, untapped as a rating system only gives it a four, which in most out of five. So, there's five is the max, and cool. there are very rare things that go above four two. Because so many people rate, yeah. you know, four is like this is pretty good. This is worth buying. This is worth buying, but that's about it. It's it's not. Well, it's that's not the, blowing the your thing mind. thing is like that's your opinion though. That is my like, opinion. your that your is... opinion is basically like you've been drinking beer. Yes. Your like whole what half life? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I tried a lot of beers. Yes, I tried a lot of beers. I I owned a bar a tap room for a number of years yes you did, you did. And, and so because of that I, I learned a lot in the industry and this still by that i've had smaller breweries local breweries weirder off breweries so this just for price point and rarity and the way they treat this beer it's lacking for ten dollars i can go get you a better beer ten dollars dude ten dollars a good no, I, I can go get you so a local brewery here. I can get you a bourbon barrel aged, which is what this is, a $10 beer in a can. Yeah. Higher percentage, better tasting than this. And that's cheap, and it's cheaper. It's $7.99. That's, this is almost like a Costco barrel aged beer. It's barrel aged for the masses. What is the, the cheapest, crappiest beer, in your opinion, that is a good beer? Cheapest craft beer, cheapest domestic beer. So, I'll, I'll make it straight. Okay. Okay. What is the best piss beer? <laughs> okay. For you, uh, I'm probably gonna go with Pabst Blue Ribbon. Why is that? Because that is like the worst beer in the world. <laughs> no, it's, it's, so out of tasting all domestics, it is the most. There's the most blandest no thing it, in the world. It's it's. Long I don't know beer, but like. <laughs> So Pabst Blue Ribbon is actually a Pilsner, which has a bit more of a maltier flavor than a lager. And uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon, out of the yellow beers that come out, has a, just a little bit more craft-esque to it. It has are sweetness, just, it has a flavor to it. It has, just, it has less of this artificial rice, corn, You're saying flake. PBR, PBR is like the best Crap beer, beer not, out of not, all not, the yeah. other ones. Are you yes. serious? Well, other people, stupid other people call it is ever. <laughs> the other one would be Younglings, but Younglings is actually a craft. What brewery. is Younglings? Younglings is a, a a similar beer. It's called uh, it's called Younglings. It's just it's a lager. If you haven't heard of it, it's it's not as big as PBR or anything, but it's technically a craft brewery. All right. So it's does it doesn't classify as yellow piss beer. <laughs> Um, but Firestone Walkers. So we're we're gonna do this right now. PBR. Great. It. Do you want to go? Do you want to go grab a PBR? Of course. No. And, and I let's, don't wanna... That's another video. You want to cut this video right now? Let's no. Go I, grab... I, I, actually, I actually I want to do this right now. All right. PBR. Great. It. Rate it. Rate it. I don't know. It's like two seven five. Coors. Coors original. Uh, Coors original. Yeah. Coors original. Like two six five. All right. So Bud. Like one seven five Bud Light. One. <laughs> I can't think of anything. There's Heineken. Heine Heineken. Oh, that's the no, aroma alone gives it a one. So, anyways, Firestone Walker, Velvet Merkin. We both agree it's a good beer. It's a good beer. It's a good beer. Mike thinks that it's 
pretty much worth the price and a great beer and you'd probably enjoy having it. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a good beer, but I think it's overpriced. I think it's worth probably having a sample of it if you have find a drop, but 10 bucks for 12 ounces of bourbon barrel age, I think you could probably find something local that's gonna be a bit better, but if you're looking for that check-in on untapped, go ahead and buy it. Yeah, it's so. It's, but it is a good beer. It's a good it's beer. It's all around good beer. I just don't think it lives up to the hype. <laughs> I like it, he doesn't. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, well, All right. see you guys yeah. later. You ever watch that, um, Your Pretty Face is Going to Hell? Yeah. You ever see the one where Satan, like, uh, talks about his days at the old 80s band? Yeah, yeah, And they yeah. call it the Velvet Lurker. <laughs> the Velvet Lurker, the Circle Jerker.